Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Now, Microsoft's been improving many aspects of Windows security lately. It now has better detection rates and has seen a lot of improvements in other areas when it comes to ease of use, like a very clear firewall interface and more. But the question is, are these improvements really enough for you to rely on Windows security as a standalone antivirus or should you consider getting a paid antivirus instead? Well, the answer may not be a simple yes or no because Windows security has gotten pretty good lately and it's shown results that are close to some of the top paid antiviruses. So if you're a beginner and you don't really use your computer or serve the web that often, it can come in handy and will give you a sort of base level of protection. However, as your activity increases, you're going to need something that will give you a more effective and bigger radius of protection. And that's because according to test results done by AV Compare, as well as our own in lab tests, Windows security has scored 63.1% when it came to offline detection, when the average results of top paid VPNs like AV and Bitdefender were around the 95% mark. And by the way, these offline scans are very important in dealing with more severe viruses that take place in deeper parts of your computer, like rootkits, so they really shouldn't be taken lightly. Another thing to take into consideration is that the majority of people will choose to solely rely on Windows security rather than get a paid antivirus, which is why hackers and cybercriminals mostly design malware to get around the Windows security detection range. And so getting a paid antivirus to protect your device alongside Windows security is sort of like asking for a second opinion when it comes to malware detection. So I really do recommend getting one to make sure that your PC has the highest levels of protection. Granted, you're using your PC a lot. But with that being said, Windows security has shown pretty decent results when it comes to online scans and is somewhere around the ballpark of paid antiviruses. Not as good, but it's getting there. So this makes it a very solid option if you only use your device for light activities like writing documents or browsing social media, you know, study or work related stuff. So basically, as far as malware detection goes, Windows security is pretty decent, but it's best if you pair it up with an antivirus to fill in the gaps that it's lacking in. Also, these antivirus software will give you more than just an AV and could come with a more expansive security kit. For example, if you go with something like Norton, you'll get cloud backup, a VPN, a password manager, and a parental control kit. And so not only would you be doubling your range of protection, but you'll also be given a lot of other useful security tools. So Norton is what I would usually recommend because it's pretty easy to use and has the most expansive security kit. But you can also go for something like Total AV, uh, McAfee, uh, and Bid Defender. They're all great options, but depending on your situation, you might find one is more suitable for you than the other. So I'll link some in-depth reviews in the description down below if you'd like to check them out, as well as some special discounts to save you money along the way. Okay, now besides malware detection, Windows security does have a lot of pros when it comes to ease of use and optimization. For example, you can easily integrate any antivirus with Windows security and they'll sort of act as a tack team to protect your computer. And another thing I personally like about Windows security is that it's very minimalistic when it comes to design and has no flashy colors or animations. Now, I know some people like these things, but I do prefer the app to be a little bit more responsive and neat. So at the end of the day, it all comes down to preference and whether or not it gets the job that you're looking for done. Besides that, you can also customize your notification settings as you please and you can sort of implement these settings on other antiviruses connected to Windows security, and while this may not sound very impressive, you will be surprised at how handy it can be once you start tinkering with those options and setting them up to your liking. And one more thing about Windows security is that it comes paired up with a firewall, which is a huge plus, since not all antivirus software have a firewall included, not even the top ones like Total AV. Now, it is true that this firewall hasn't been the best during its early days, but it has come a long way and I was actually really impressed at how granular the settings go. They fixed the design and made it easier to understand so that even intermediate level users could customize the settings to their liking. Also, Windows Security packs a couple of tools like file encryption, core isolation, and reputation-based protection. And these are really important when it comes to tackling viruses and making sure they don't spread across your entire PC. For example, core isolation would isolate 
separate computer processes from your operating system and device so that it can quarantine the virus and eliminate it before it can impact your system. But the thing is, despite these tools being really effective when it comes to isolating and eliminating viruses, they can't do much if Windows security can't detect the virus in the first place. And so to get the most out of it, you can boost detection by installing separate antiviruses with near perfect detection rates such as Norton, Total AV, McAfee, or again, Bit Defender, and by doing that, you'll practically create a foolproof combo to protect your PC from pretty much any and all threats. So the bottom line is that Windows security has come a long way, it has better detection results than before, and they made it sleek and easy to use. So if you only use your PC like once or twice a week without heavy online activity, this should suffice. But I imagine a lot of you use your PCs nearly all the time, a lot of you remote workers specifically. So if you spend most of your time on your computer and you have medium to heavy online activity, even if it's just browsing, Windows security will not be enough to protect you from all threats. It's best if you pair it up with a separate antivirus to maximize your security and protection from malware. But that'll be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description down below if you wanna learn a little bit more about these antiviruses or if you just wanna grab the best discounts available for any of them. Besides that, like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments below if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.